All right, here we go. Let's make some more money. Been making you guys rich all year long. Memphis, Houston. This is a Friday night game. I got two Friday night games for you. Uh, Houston favored by eight and a half. Uh, finally in the rankings, at least the, the AP, 24th in the country. Uh, I like Memphis here. Uh, you give them more than a touchdown, even though if it's on the road, I think they're going to cover this. Uh, they've been up and down, but Sean Hennigan's going to at least allow them to lose within a touchdown. So take Memphis uh, getting the eight and a half points. San Diego State, UNLV. UNLV is absolutely horrible. San Diego State favored by ten and a half. Take San Diego State. They should route. The over-under is 41. Uh, the assumption being that UNLV has scored seven points. Can San Diego State score more than 34? I would take the over. I really would. I think they're going to kill them. Charleston, Southern, and Georgia, no line. If you find the line, take Georgia. I don't care what it is. Michigan State, Ohio State. Ohio State favored by 19 points. So this is the number four team in the country against the number seven team in the country. And yet there's a 19-point spread. Something's fishy here. Somebody knows something. Ohio State's going to rout. Uh, they cover this 19. Watch. That line's way too fishy. Clemson, minus four and a half against Wake Forest. Number 10 team in the country, an underdog against a average offensive program. Uh, I don't know. Clemson's defense is good. Wake Forest offense is really good. I would take Wake Forest getting the four and a half on the road. They may not win, but it should be a field goal game, right? Iowa State, Oklahoma, Oklahoma favored by three and a half over Iowa State. Oklahoma season's over. They're not going to make the playoff. Uh, do they have the heart to come out here and, and win a game that doesn't matter? I mean, I guess it still matters. Um, I think they do. I don't like Iowa State that much. Uh, I think oh, oh, Oklahoma is going to cover the three and a half, but it's going to be like a six, seven point game. Prairie View A and M, Texas A and M, no line. If you find a line, take Texas A and M. Uh, Tennessee State, Mississippi State, no line. Take Mississippi State if you find a line. Illinois Iowa, Iowa favored by twelve and a half points at home. Illinois, kind of weird this season. Beat Nebraska, beat Penn State, but can lose to anybody. Iowa's offense is horrible, so you have to assume their defense is going to keep Illinois under 10 points. I'm going to take Illinois here to cover the 12 and a half. I also like the over 38 and a half. I think these two teams will combine for at least 40 points, right? Georgia Tech, Notre Dame. Notre Dame favored by 17. Georgia Tech, not a very good football team. Take Notre Dame at home uh, to cover that 17. Arkansas, Alabama. Alabama favored by 20 and a half. And this just speaks to that line I was talking about earlier, Ohio State, Michigan State, 19 points, four and seven. I mean, Alabama is only favored by 20 and a half at home against Arkansas. Arkansas has a nice defense and all that, but Alabama is going to cover, take the 20 and a half. I mean, lay the 20 and a half, take Alabama. SMU and Cincinnati, Cincinnati cover, uh, uh, favored by 11 and a half. This is a tough game. I'm taking SMU. Cincinnati has not looked impressive the last few weeks. SMU is a good football team, eight wins. They could put up points. Cincinnati, this could be their loss. So you might want to play with the money line there if it's if it's a good plus as well. But take SMU getting 11 and a half. Michigan, Maryland, Michigan favored by 15 on the road. You know, after the Penn State win on the road, back-to-back -back road games, I think Michigan's going to struggle here. I don't think they're going to cover the 15. I'm not, I don't have them losing. But I would take Maryland at home, uh, getting 15 points for sure. Nebraska and Wisconsin. Wisconsin favored by nine. Nebraska plays everybody close but never wins. <sighs> Can they continue to do that? That's the big question. Braylon Allen's running all over everybody. Wisconsin's on a roll. It's Camp Randall. <sighs> I don't know. I'd take Nebraska because they cover a lot and take the nine points. They're not going to win. But you got to hope they, they stay within nine. Virginia Pitt. Pitt favored by 14 and a half points. Seems a lot. Virginia is way up and down. Brennan Armstrong is a good quarterback, though. I think Virginia can score on Pitt. Um, I know Pitt can score on Virginia. The over is 66. That's, I wouldn't touch that. That's, that's probably about right. But I would take Virginia to cover. Uh, that 14 and a hook is what gets me. Uh, give me the hook. So give me 14 and a half. Uh, UVA, UAB, UTSA, UTSA favored by four and a half. This is the game they lose. Take the money line, UAB. Also take UAB plus that four and a half. BYU, Georgia Southern, BYU is favored by 20 on the road. Georgia Southern is not good. Take BYU to cover the 20. 
Syracuse, NC State, NC State minus 11 at home. Syracuse just really up and down, but they can run the football. They can keep this game close. I would take Syracuse getting 11 points. Baylor, Kansas State. K-State favored by one at home against the number 11 team in the country, Baylor. That's weird, right? Weird. Take Kansas State. They're going to win outright. That line tells me right there somebody knows that at Bill Schneider Family Stadium, Kansas State's winning. Take K-State. Oregon and Utah. Oregon, number three team in the country, getting three points on the road at Utah. Oregon doesn't play well on the road. Utah's a tough team. But three points, give me Oregon. You assume that they have a chance to win this game, and they should win this game, being the higher-ranked and more talented team. Uh, and give me three bonus points, I'll take Oregon. But could easily lose. Vanderbilt Ole Miss, Ole Miss favored by 36 and a half. Take Ole Miss, they're going to win by 50. And Oklahoma State, Texas Tech. Oklahoma State favored by 10. Uh, Texas Tech at home. Oklahoma State's playing good on offense, defense. Give me Oklahoma State to cover that 10. So there you have it. Lots of money to be made. I hope you all get rich.